What's good out there, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with yet another GTA 5 online money glitch video. Now, guys, quick update. Pretty much almost everything got patched yesterday. All the solo dupes, all the merge facility dupes. Uh, Rockstar went on a rampage and patched up a lot of stuff yesterday, but that I do know of, the DM trailer glitch is still working. So you can get modded outfits, and that solo money glitch is still working. The really long one that not a lot of people liked. But I'll leave that link down in the pinned comment. If that changes today, I will change that up, okay? I will, you know, update that. But as far as, you know, at the time of making this video, that is still working. Now, we do have a new dupe glitch, though, in the facility. Thanks to King Alex HD, Evil Branch, and Blazing Fire. Links will be down in the description. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch is you're going to... I recommend doing it in a close friend session. That's more important for PlayStation than it is for Xbox. But we did this in a close friend session. Um, you want to also have a facility. You need an Avenger in your facility. You want to have a Benny's car like the LG Retro Custom inside your facility ready to dupe. You know, fully upgraded. You don't need custom plates for this. It's a merge glitch, so thank God for that. Uh, what you do need though, you do need two friends, okay? Yeah, I said two extra friends. You do need, so it's a three-person glitch, but your second friend literally just helps you get glitched out in the beginning just by launching a job, and that's it. So the third player is only there for like one or two steps. After that, you're good. Uh, then you also need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage to save the car, all right? But those are the requirements. Let's go ahead and get into this glitch. Now... We're all inside my facility. I'm the duper, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into my Avenger, all right? You see BMX right there? Shout out to him for helping me make this video. He's waiting to get into the Avenger, but not yet. What I'm going to go ahead and do is press right D-pad to modify, back out of this menu, and I'm going to hit exit facility and pause right after, okay? So watch, you're going to see this. I'm going to hit exit facility, pause really quick, okay? Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and tell my friend one, who's BMX, to go hop into the Avenger. You see him going in there? Boom, he gets caught on a black screen right now. Infinite black screen. So he's stuck on a black screen. Right now, while we're still on the pause menu, we're going to go ahead and tell friend two, who's, you know, not the guy in the Avenger, the other guy who's in the facility with us, we're going to tell friend two to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. So as you can see right here in the top right, friend two is just going to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job and just sit in the lobby. All right, he's just got to sit in the setting screen and that's it. Now, once he's in the settings screen and I know of it, I can go ahead and go to the online tab, go to players, or you can go to friends and join them through there. But you can go ahead and join your friend, uh, you know. So you're going to see right here, Rogue is the friend too. I'm going to go ahead and hit join game. And I'm just going to accept the alert. I'm going to fully join into this, uh, to this game. I'm going to fully join into the lobby, okay? No craziness right now. Really, really simple. So just have your friend too. You see, he's just chilling right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just join in. And once I'm fully loaded in and the camera's done panning down, I'm just going to simply back out. So you can see right here, I'm just going to confirm to quit. Go ahead and accept that. And then I should spawn down at Mount Chiliad. Okay, so there we go. I'm at Mount Chiliad. I'm out of the Avenger. Now, BMX, who is friend one, friend one is still stuck on that black screen. Okay, so right now, while friend one is stuck on that black screen, you need to get him unstuck. So you tell friend two who, you know, right now you're going to see friend two starting up the job again, but friend two should just be sitting in that job the whole time. So have friend two who's sitting in Titan send friend one on the black screen an invite, okay, to the job. All right. So friend two is just going to be sitting in that job waiting. Once friend one in the Avenger has gotten the alert to join in, just have him sit on that alert. Tell friend two who's in Titan of a job who started it up to just back out, okay? So friend two is just gonna back out of the job and that's it, you don't need friend two anymore. Friend one, who's on the black screen, also has this alert ready to go. So we're good to go, the other friend backed out of the job, have your friend in the Avenger accept it, he's gonna get an unable to connect alert and he's gonna get shot right back down and he's gonna be glitched in the facility in the Avenger. There you go, okay? So that's pretty much all you need the other friends for, just for that initial part, all right? Once that's happened, you're going to be stuck at Mount Chiliad. You can either fly back, drive back, you know, do something like that. I recommend having a Lester text, okay? The Lester text to the facility. Now, if you don't know how to start that up, you just have to pay for the first setup and you'll be getting the Lester heist text, okay? It's like 60 grand. It's definitely worth it to have that text in your phone, all right? So once you're back at the facility, your friend is glitched in there. You no longer need your third friend anymore. Just go ahead and exit out of the facility, all right? Like I said, the third friend literally just needed to launch that job and sit in there for you and then back out for your other friend. That's all that third friend needed, okay? So friend three can go off and do whatever they want, all right? You're, they're, they're good to go. They helped you out already. Now it's just a two-person glitch. So 
as the duper. Right now, I've went ahead and I've exited my facility. Now, I recommend being able to sign in as an MC president because you want to go ahead and actually have a bunch of Fagios or RHAs in a garage ready to go. All right. So remember, this is a merge glitch, so we gotta you know dupe over a vehicle. So I have a few blazers. I have four blazers that I have in a garage right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my motorcycle club menu to go ahead and request one. All right. So I've requested one right here. Take a look at that plate if you can see it. That's going to be the plate that's going to merge onto the new dupe that we make in this video. Okay, I don't know if you saw it. It's all it's all good. I'll show you the plate of the other one before we actually dupe it. So you'll see that it does indeed change. But once you have that vehicle out there, just have it sitting out there and just go ahead and go inside the facility. This is how you know your friends glitched out. If you go in there, remember, we just went in alone, yet I see BMX right there going down the elevator with me. That's how you know your friends glitched out with you. Okay, so... At this point, it's pretty easy, man. This this does require a little bit of timing, but it's not difficult, and you can just keep trying till you get it. Uh, but you're gonna see right now what I mean, okay? So this is what's gonna happen. You need to give your friend access to drive your your cars in your facility. So you need to hop into your retro that we're gonna be duping the car you're duping. You need to hop into it. And then as your friend is getting in, you need to get out. You're going to see what I mean. So I'm going to get in right now. I'm going to wait for the car to start and I'm going to tell him, go ahead and try to hop in. So he needs to hold Y or triangle while doing this. So he's holding it and then I hop out. But you see, I hopped out too late. So he just stayed in the passenger seat. He's supposed to scooch over. You're going to see right here what I mean. So I'm going to hop in and then I'm going to start the car. Tell him to go ahead right when the door is fully open. So right now. I'm going to go ahead and get out and look what happens. He's holding Y and then boom, you see he slides right over. That is what you want to see. Okay. So remember your friend needs to hold Y or triangle while he's getting into the passenger seat. Just have him hold it and you need to pop out of that car right after he opens up that door. So as he's bending over to kind of get into the seat, if he's in the seat already or close to getting in the seat, you're too late. All right. If you're too early, it's just going to kick him out of the car. So it's not very hard timing, but you guys will get it. Don't worry. So now have your friend just park the, uh, you know, the vehicle right over here where, you know, you're able to teleport in and out of it. So right, right over here by these railings. So as you can see right here, I can teleport in and out of the vehicle. See that by pressing Y or triangle, you should be able to teleport in and out. All right. So look at the plate right here. 82 uh, KJP. That will be changing. All right. KJP 397 or whatever. That will be changing to a brand new plate. So once you're sure you're able to teleport in and out, you want to go ahead and go to your yellow circle and make sure you're hovering over exit facility. And remember, just hit A and Y at the same time or X and triangle, just like the old facility glitch that we've been doing for a long time. Now, if done correctly, you should see yourself spawn outside with an LG Retro Custom. And you see that has a different plate on it. I think it says 63 POD. All right. So let's check it out right here. Yep, 63 POD 348, brand new dupe. So right now I just need to request my MOC. Doesn't matter if you have anything in your MOC. Remember, you do need the personal vehicle storage to save the vehicle. But yeah, I'm gonna press right D-pad now. Just go ahead and accept this alert right now and this vehicle will be saved in here, okay? So check it out. We're gonna load in here in a second. And just like that, you've saved your vehicle. Now, if you don't have, I'm gonna show you how to rinse and repeat, but if you don't have an MOC, you can save this in an empty slot in a CEO garage, but you need a mod shop. So you need to modify something on the vehicle to get it to stick. So if you don't have an MOC, that's another way to save the car. But having an MOC is way easier and way quicker. So I've driven back. I'm going to go ahead and open up my motorcycle club menu, return that retro to storage. So it's back at the MOC and I'm going to go ahead and call up another blazer. All right. And this is I'm going to show you right here the garage I'm calling them from. So you see right here, I had four blazers. I just turned this first one into a dupe. All right. The LG Retro Custom. So I have one dupe already. And this is going to be the next one that I override to create a dupe. OK, so right here. And remember, you can use blazers, Fagio, Sanchez's, LG Retro or LG RHAs. You can use whatever you want. All right. I just think it's a lot quicker using the motorcycle club. All right. So remember, every time we come back in, you know your friend's glitched because he will be showing up in the elevator animation with you as you're coming down, all right, from up top. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're just going to run up. And remember, I said you only need one LG Retro in here. That's because it always respawns when you come back in here to do the glitch again. So you see that first one is still here. So I'm gonna, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. I, we failed a couple times, but it's all good. I'm going to hop in, wait for the car to start, tell him to go ahead, open the door, boom, I get out, okay? And he should slide right over. Remember, he needs to hold Y or triangle. He needs to hold that while getting in. 
and he should slide right over once you get the timing good. Don't worry, the timing's not difficult. You'll get it. Just make sure you're doing it before he actually sits down, okay? Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing the same thing over again. He's just going to go ahead and park my car over by that railing so that, you know, he can teleport out. And if he can teleport out, then I should be able to teleport right back in. All right, so let's try it out. Wire triangle, boom, I can teleport in and out. I'm going to show you the plate right here. Same plate that I had on the original car because that still is the original. And we're going to go ahead and do the glitch right here again. So remember, hit A or Y at the same time or X or triangle on PlayStation at the same time. And your friend will actually see that vehicle kind of go transparent. And then once you're outside, it'll disappear. So your friend can tell you right away if you hit it or not. But there we go. I just made another dupe. So you can just keep doing this the whole time while your one friend is glitched in the in the facility. So you only need that second friend for the beginning part. You know, once that's done, you're good to go. So remember, link up down in the comment section. Find some people on the same console as you. Put your gamer tags down and make some friends, you know. Uh, unless you just want to do the solo money glitch. Totally up to you. All right. But this is the new dupe glitch that's out right now. I thought I'd let everybody know. No custom plates. Super easy to do. All right. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. My name's Roll Easy. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Once again, road to 25,000 subscribers. I think we've passed 21,000. Awesome news, guys. Peace out.